Oh. Hey guys. Link is pretty weird looking. But not as weird as other characters in games. I mean... Come in. It's the top 10 weirdest characters in Zelda! Number 10 In Wind Waker, if you go to Windfall Island, you'll run across Tot. Tot is pretty cool. Not only does he have some sick dance moves, he calls himself the world's charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Oh yeah, and he has a band down on his nose. Anyone with that is cool. Number 9 Oku got stuck in a pot. How she got in there, I do not know. But what I do know is that she is very creepy. Hey, even Link looks shocked. Or just stupid, but what's really creepy is her son, Oku Jr. He looks like someone had a human head and like glued those KFC potato wedges on it. Mmm, KFC. Number 8. Old Man Ho Ho is just a dude who likes looking at his telescope. And we ain't dis no hobbies on the Half Noah Top 10 show. But what is weird is how he knows where heart containers are and even Triforce shards. Oh yeah, and his creepy red eye. I think you've been looking in there a little too long. Number 7 Maggie is just a girl who just got kidnapped and now has a rich dad who has incredibly nice hair. Nothing too special. Yeah, until you learn that she's in love with a moblin. Yeah, one of these things. She must like that pig booty. Number 6 Salvatore is a guy who owns a shop on Windfall Island and on his own island. He does all of the acting... Is this acting? Oh yeah, it's acting. He does all the acting through cardboard cutouts, and he does all the sound effects too, which I have to say, are pretty nice. Kaboom! 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 Splish! Kaboom! Splish! What's really good is if you beat his cannon minigame on his own island, you get this. This alone is worth the number six spot. Number five. Ah, demon! Ah, horns! Ah, skulls! and candles. Don't judge a book by its cover though. He just wants to be a human. And to do that you need gratitude crystals that you get from side quests. And really, I've been too lazy to do any, so I hope you like wings. Andy hangs out with small children, which is mildly creepy. Number four. The Happy Mask Salesman is really weird and creepy. When he finds out that you didn't get Majora's Mask back for him, he goes crazy. Like, pick you up and shake you like a ragdoll crazy. His eyes are really unsettling too. Hey, but at least he can tell a good story about everyone dying. Whatever. I love him. Number three. Mallow. Are you a kid or an adult? Your looks say kid, but your business skills say adult. 
Your shop looks childish. But those eyebrows. Those eyebrows. They say cold hearted business baby. His shop's music is pretty weird too. <laughs> Number two. They say there is an island where only the best swordsmen can go. And fat people! Peter has an island to himself that's basically just a game of slicing bamboo. And don't get me started on his thrust of an arm. I love it. Supposedly you can get a good prize if you get enough points, but... I kinda suck, so... And I know I've seen those gloves before. Oh yeah, it's those gloves that Ash has when he first gets Pikachu. Good choice. <laughs> Number one. You all saw it coming. Tingle is just too weird. I tried. I tried not putting him at number one. But he is a freak. He's 35, wears fairy clothes, thinks that you are a fairy, and has his own magical words that are pretty cool. In Wind Waker, he enslaves his cousin and brother and forces them to do hard manual labor for him. And I think these guys are mentally unstable because of Tingle. You ever seen those videos of those puppies who are all scared of everything because the evil scientist did horrible things to him? Yeah. Tingle is the evil scientist. I'm convinced. He's evil. He's messed up. He's so weird. And that's why I love Zelda. Thank you for watching my top 10. If you liked it, you can subscribe and like and comment. If you didn't like it, I don't really care. Actually, I do. I care about everyone. Be sure to check out my social media in the description below. Thank you guys, and peace out.